It's not that you can't use they for one person. You use they for one person all the time. Someone left their wallet here. I hope they come back to get it, right? Correct. There are some circumstances where I would use the pronoun they when I'm talking about multiple people, a hypothetical person, or if I don't know what the gender is of the person I'm talking about. However, there are zero circumstances where I would use the pronoun they to talk about one person if I know what that person's gender is and I know what what your gender is, your male. So when describing you, I don't use the pronoun they, I use the pronoun he. It's that you can't look at me and see my humanity yet. It's not that I can't see your humanity looking at you. I can see that you're obviously human. I'm not denying that you and other people who identify as non-binary are human. What I'm denying is that you're neither male nor female. AKA bigotry, right? Wrong. Denying that non-binary identities are valid isn't bigoted against people who identify is non-binary any more than denying a religion is true is bigoted against people who believe in that religion. You're a Buddhist, therefore you're not a Christian. So if a Christian says that God is real and Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior, does you disagreeing with that mean you're bigoted against Christians? No. Likewise, me disagreeing with you claiming that you're neither male nor female email doesn't make me bigoted against you. You don't believe us. I also don't believe Rachel Dolezal when she says she's black. What's your point? You can't look at us and see the they in the eyes. Pronouns aren't used to describe what someone's eyes look like. They're used to describe what sex someone is. So I want to give you a little practice um, so you can uh, get over it. Get over what? Not validating delusional identities? I don't want to stop invalidating delusional identities like identifying as non-binary or transracial. Look at me. Do you see that I am a they-them? No, you look like a he-him. Deep down to the core of who I am. Who you are deep down to your core is irrelevant. Pronouns aren't used to describe who someone is deep down to the core of who they are. Pronouns are used to describe what sex someone is. Are you ready to respect us? It depends on the person. I could respect a person who identifies as non-binary even though I don't believe non-binary is a valid identity. I don't believe in Christianity. However, I respect Martin Luther King Jr. and he's Christian. Likewise, I could respect a person who who identifies as non-binary, even though I don't believe non-binary is a valid identity. However, if you're asking if I'm ready to respect you, my answer is no. You're an idiot and I have zero respect for you. Thanks for watching. A link to the original video will be in the description down below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links to both will be in the description. Bye.